example, this is a 1970 Rover P6, 3.5 litre V8. This is the second P6 I've had, but I always wanted the V8. Anybody who loves these cars wants that V8. It's automatic, it pulls a caravan, sometimes I forget I've got the thing on my back. But it's all original. It was found for me by a very good friend of mine, Clive Hannibal, who runs um, a garage in Derby that do these and only these. And uh, yeah, that's the investment of it. The guy I, who owned this before me, unfortunately, had Parkinson's and that stopped him from driving. And even sadder, he died eventually of it. And the car was kept in a garage for around uh, four or five years. I had the opportunity to buy it, um, but obviously, you, as you can imagine, all the hoses and need changing, and there was oil seals that had gone. Um, so Clive, Clive took it, stripped it down, virtually rebuilt it, changed everything that needed to be changed. And I must be honest, probably in the first year, every time we took it out, we came back, we got another little oil leak from another seal that had gone. But gradually, you know, it's, it's got 42,000 miles on the clock, and that's genuine, genuine. We still have it, I still have it MOT'd every year, even though I don't have to, but I just feel that's a safer option. It's a big, powerful car, you know, three and a half litres of run to Neil go. So, what's MOT, 40 quid? Anything major wrong, it shows it. There's no power steering, so, <laughs> One thing I do stay away from is multi-storey car parks. Because like that is that's hard work. But you you take her out on the road, you can drive it like that. She's beautiful to drive. That, this is my last car. I won't ever get rid of this. The worst thing you can do with these cars is not drive them. So this is like used every day just to keep it running properly. Really, you know, it's, it's, doesn't do them any good to sit and idle. Um, just turn the key and off she goes. People relate to this, you know, they're like, but obviously it's like a car that not the likes of me would have afforded back in the day, but certainly your doctor would, you, you know, your headmaster might, because they were an expensive piece of equipment. But yeah, everybody sort of remembers them. They were made for quite a while, 63 to 78. So that's a long production run. But, but um, it means that spares are available and uh, yeah. I mean, this thing was made before seat belts were uh, a legal requirement and these seat belts were made by a parachute company. They're not inertia belts, they're fixed rigid belts so don't try and reach for something when you're driving because you're not going to get there. Amazing. So do you have to give it a bit of a polish? Yeah, just keep the leather, you know, just nourish it every couple of months to try and keep it fresh and clean. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's 53 years old. It's not going to stay totally pristine. But the worst thing you can do is, is, is leave it and not drive it. It's like I said, drive it every day. If you can, drive it every day. You know, he doesn't mind pulling the caravan, it's... You basically don't know you've got a thing on the back. But, yeah, it's a car I love. And apparently the story is, as I've, I've been told it, that Rover was selling these on the American market, but we hadn't got a V8. The biggest thing we got was a 2 litre, 2.5, something like that straight six put a straight six in this they called it the p7 it would have it would have come out another foot but while they were over there they found this short block v8 and apparently they brought it over to england and made it under license and uh it's still been made now and it's absolutely a cracking piece of kit anyone that was thinking of buying this exact car what 
advice would you give them? Go for it. Go for it, yeah. Yeah. Do, two things. Go for it. Talk to somebody who really knows what they're doing, like Clive Hannibal. Um, he's in Derby. Not hard to find. Uh, but talk to people like that because their wealth of knowledge is absolutely huge. And when you've got, when you've found the one you want, and when you've bought it, drive it every day. Drive it as much as you can because that's the best way to look after it.